Hello, Eagle Investors. This is Samuel here to talk about portfolio balance, specifically in an active portfolio. I'm excited to continue this mini series, but before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button below. Also check out our investors community in the description below. Today, I will be talking about defending trade positions. Ideally, we never have to worry about defending positions as everything we enter hits perfectly. But this is not the case, and so long we understand our probabilities, we will understand some positions will be losers and need to be defended against to avoid large losses. Now first, you have to make sure you have a plan. Deciding when you are going to exit or how you are going to manage a position when it either goes against you or for you is critical to long-term success. Know what your thesis is. If the trading style is optimal to capitalize on this thesis, and if you should have a stop loss in place to reduce risk, you then have to figure out the proper time frame to enter. Once entered, keep an eye on the news, the broader market, and know when to exit by always being aware of the current risk to reward you see. One key idea is if you would not enter a position at the current price it is at, you should exit. Waiting to get back to break even or being greedy when you think something is so overpriced you wouldn't enter at this level is not a good mentality and a critical trading error. On trade management, Let's start with some simple trade management points. Even on technical trades, you should be aware of anything that may impact a position. If there is any news or broader exposure to pay attention to, you need to watch for this. Never add to a losing position unless you have a great reason to do so. Averaging down is typically not a good plan. Letting your winners run and cutting losers early is imperative to reducing maximum drawdown and can allow you to isolate only upward volatility in your portfolio. On risk management, you need to understand your max loss and when you will realize this. For certain options, there is an infinite max loss and it is even more critical to pay close attention and only trade these if you fully understand what you stand to lose. For debit positions like long calls or puts or debit spreads, your max loss is the debit paid. For defined risk credit positions like credit spreads or short iron condors, your max loss is the collateral or the width of the widest spread minus the premium collected. Once you set a stop, do not change this. You should place stops at a place that disproves your original thesis this ensures that when you were stopped out, your idea was wrong and you're not tempted to re-enter. This also means you cannot set stops at a pain threshold. You must set a strategic stop level based on your hypothesis and then adjust sizing accordingly based on what you were willing to lose. Guidelines for trades. Now, as there are many different trading strategies and styles, determining what exactly when exactly to exit trades can depend on you and your portfolio. Defending positions works differently with different trading styles and different types of positions. For example, a short call as opposed to a long call are managed extremely different, differently. Then for more complex strategies, we can use a different set of guidelines as well. The most important thing to do, no matter the position, is to have a plan before you enter the trade. Some ideas on where to start are always having an exit plan and exiting if it hits. With a stop loss, it's easy to know when you need to exit. For credit trades, closing a trade for a net loss of 2x credit received can be optimal. For short calls or puts, exiting at 50% profit or 200% loss works well. And for short straddles and strangles, aiming for 25% profit drastically increases your probability of profit. As for when to roll trades, now rolling trades can depend on strategy used and size of account. The main reason to roll a trade is to keep the dream alive. When rolling trades, make sure you are rolling out for a net credit, but understand your probability of profit is decreasing. Never roll a position that you would not have taken by itself 
if you were not in the original position. Rolling your trade seven to 21 days prior to expiration allows you to avoid gamma risk and assignment risk that grows as expiration nears. And lastly, it is also important to be aware of dividend risk when trading options, but only when you are holding a short in the money call option and extrinsic value of this call is less than the dividend. Then you know that the option is at risk of being assigned. If extrinsic value is greater than the dividend, it doesn't make sense for the call owner to exercise as the, they would be losing money in that situation. Make sure to close or roll out a short call to avoid this risk and be aware of those dividend dates. I hope you enjoyed this video on portfolio balance defending positions. Comment below your thoughts and methods for defending positions and check out the first and second video in this series, Hedging the Greeks and Sizing for Success. Join the Discord and subscribe below. Next up, portfolio balance, diversifying with complex strategies.